Most people in America know that people who have body dysmorphia usually try to do something in terms of their clothing or in terms of their actions or in terms of their health or their cellular health in order to fix the issue. What I'm talking about is when someone has a nose they don't like or they have toes they can't handle or they have feet problems that they really need to fix so that they can walk better. I might be talking about the kids that are born with tails. I might be talking about the guy in Italy that's got the fur all over his face like a wolf man. But he has the right to decide what he's going to do with it. And in some parts of his culture, it's a blessing to people to be able to, I guess, pet him. I don't know how that works. I saw that in a YouTube video. Look it up. But the point is in life that everyone has the right to decide if they like themselves or not like themselves. And how you like your friggin' motherfucking body is up to you. I swear in these moments of time to present to you the truth that your body belongs to you. But someone else's body and privacy of their body, which I've been talking about a lot because politicians want me to, talk about this issue to help them really think through how to say it so people really get it today and human trafficking and rape stops, is that your body belongs to you. To prevent rape, we have the right to say no to other people viewing and using and abusing and sexually assaulting our bodies. At no time does a public person who serves a city or a mayor's office or at the end of the day the president have the right to commandeer your body and shave your genitalia or shave your secondary sex characteristics or abuse your clothing to make more of your body pronounced to any other human being in the world.